this one island that has um, like this crazy hole in the ground that was made by pirates. There's a television show about it. You know what oh, I'm talking uh, about? Oh, the Curse of Oak Island. And they have some crazy hole in the ground right. that they're trying to figure out how to get into, but there's all these weird little trap booby traps and like yeah. all this crazy stuff. For decades, several treasure hunters and historians have dedicated their efforts, resources, and determination to uncover a long-hidden treasure buried in Oak Island. Unlike typical quests, the treasure's location is no secret. Rather, the challenge lies in accessing it, protected by cunning booby traps and layers of mystery. Numerous celebrated adventurers of recent times have attempted and failed to unravel the mysteries of Oak Island. However, a major turning point has emerged as Joe Rogan, a renowned podcaster, has recently shed light on startling revelations regarding the long-concealed riches. What did he say, and what does it mean for the future of the treasure hunt? Let's find out. The world is filled with countless mysteries that continue to baffle us, leaving us with more questions than answers. Were the pyramids built by ancient civilizations or some extraterrestrial force? What is hidden in Area 51? And of course, where exactly are aliens? But the mystery we're about to explore takes us on a journey that has captivated the minds of individuals for centuries. It's a tale of buried treasure and treacherous traps, infused with an unexpected twist. When it comes to uncovering hidden riches, the most challenging part is often determining where to dig in the first place. However, in this particular case, we know precisely where the treasure trove lies buried in the ground, but how exactly can it be extracted from its old hiding place? Throughout history, notable figures such as Franklin D. Roosevelt, Errol Flynn, and John Wayne have been drawn to this puzzle, dedicating their time and resources to solving it. Tragically, some have even lost their lives in the pursuit, yet the treasure remains undiscovered. This makes it arguably the longest-running active treasure hunt in the world, Many have speculated that government agencies are actively concealing information about the true nature of the treasure, perhaps to maintain control over its discovery. However, a recent revelation by Joe Rogan, the renowned host of one of the most popular podcasts, has shed new light on this long-hidden secret. In a shocking twist, Rogan's disclosure suggests the involvement of secret societies and mystical phenomena, all in an effort to safeguard these riches. Keep watching as we unravel how Joe Rogan exposed the long hidden secrets of Oak Island. But to begin, we must travel back in time to where this captivating treasure was first buried. Let's travel back over 200 years ago to 1795, where our story begins with a guy named Daniel McGinnis. He was just minding his own business, exploring this tiny patch of land called Oak Island off the coast of Nova Scotia. Now, he wasn't out there looking for buried treasure or anything. He was actually trying to find a good spot to build a farm. But fate had other plans for him. As McGinnis was wandering around, he stumbled upon something strange, a circular depression in the ground. Now this got his imagination going because he grew up hearing all these stories about hidden treasure. One story in particular was about Captain Kidd, a notorious pirate who supposedly stashed away two million pounds worth of loot on an island somewhere near Boston. And guess what? Oak Island was towards the east of Boston, so you can imagine the thoughts running through McGinnis's mind. Being the curious fellow that he was, McGinnis didn't waste any time. He gathered a couple of buddies and came back the next day armed with shovels. And guess what they found? Not a treasure chest, but a solid oak plank. Bit of a letdown, I know. But they didn't give up. They kept digging, uncovering more planks and noticing these old pick and shovel marks on the walls of the hole they were creating. It was like someone had dug a deep pit and then filled it in a long time ago. Now here's the thing. Oak Island was a small and remote place. There was absolutely no reason for anyone to dig a massive hole there unless they had something valuable to hide. So the hunt for Captain Kidd's treasure was officially on. But here's where it gets interesting. After digging about 10 meters down, which is like the height of a three-story building, they still hadn't found any treasure. They didn't have the time, tools, or manpower to go any deeper, so they had no choice but to abandon the hole. That hole is now famously known as the Money Pit. The revelation of the Money Pit sent shockwaves through the world, 
captivating the imaginations of countless treasure hunters who were enticed by the promise of untold riches. This captivating discovery sparked an intense wave of interest and speculation, attracting adventurers from around the world. They were driven by a deep desire to uncover the hidden treasure. Little did they know, though, that obtaining this treasure would not be an easy task. It lay concealed beneath layers of mystery and safeguarded by a series of cleverly designed traps intended to deter and repel any daring intruders. The treasure seekers faced an uphill battle as they navigated through the mysteries surrounding the treasure's location. Each step brought them closer to the elusive prize, but also closer to the intricate obstacles that awaited them. These traps, crafted with ingenuity, served as formidable barriers to safeguard the treasure's secrets. The creators of these traps employed cunning strategies to confound and discourage those who sought the treasure. Intricate mechanisms, hidden pitfalls, and other ingenious devices were strategically placed, making the path to the treasure both treacherous and uncertain. The traps were meant to test the determination and resourcefulness of those who dared to venture forth. Now, we will get back into the story so we can find out what Joe Rogan recently discovered. The Onslow Company's Quest In 1806, a group called the Onslow Company arrived on Oak Island, determined to uncover the treasure that had eluded previous explorers. Armed with pickaxes and shovels, these adventurers resumed the excavation of the hole known as the Money Pit. As they dug deeper, they made intriguing discoveries. Every ten feet, they encountered layers of oak logs, along with peculiar materials like putty, charcoal, and coconut fiber. It was clear that someone had gone to great lengths to hide what lay buried there. These findings only fueled the Onslow Company's curiosity, and they continued to dig with renewed enthusiasm. Eventually, at a depth of about 90 feet, they hit something solid. Excitement rose among the team, hoping they had finally reached the long-awaited treasure. However, their joy was short-lived. When they extracted a stone tablet with an inscription, disaster struck. The tunnel filled with water, forcing them to abandon their search and escape for their lives. Despite their efforts to stop the flooding, they were unsuccessful. It became clear that the search would be impossible due to the recurring flooding during high tide. Reluctantly, the Onslow Company decided to give up on their quest. Although they didn't find the treasure, they considered the stone tablet a significant discovery and took it with them as they left the island. For many years, the stone tablet remained an enigma until a professor from Halifax managed to decipher its strange symbols. The inscription revealed a tantalizing clue to the treasure's location. Forty feet below two million pounds buried. This meant that the treasure was still within reach if someone could overcome the water obstacle. However, the mystery of Oak Island's treasure didn't end there. Legend had it that seven lives would be lost before the true treasure could be found. So far, six individuals had perished in pursuit of the elusive bounty. Despite skepticism surrounding this legend, it didn't deter people from continuing their search for the treasure. The theories and speculations. Oak Island has long been a subject of intrigue and speculation, captivating the imaginations of treasure hunters and historians alike. The allure of buried riches, lost manuscripts, and hidden secrets has fueled countless theories about what lies beneath its surface. From the treasures of Shakespeare and Marie Antoinette to the exploits of notorious pirates, the possibilities seem endless. Marie Antoinette was the last queen of France before the French Revolution. She was born on November 2, 1755 in Vienna, Austria, and married the future King Louis XVI of France in 1770. Her extravagant lifestyle and perceived extravagance became a symbol of the monarchy's opulence and contributed to public discontent. Marie Antoinette did have a renowned collection of jewelry, including exquisite diamonds and other precious gemstones. However, her jewels were mostly sold or dispersed after her death during the French Revolution. Some pieces from her collection have been recovered and can be found in various museums and private collections around the world. Although there is no direct connection between Marie Antoinette's jewels and the Oak Island mystery, Many theorists are fascinated by the idea that her prized belongings could be buried on the island. This theory has lived for several decades, 
so it is treated as an urban legend at this point. Another theory that has gained significant attention is the Freemason connection. The presence of Masonic symbols, such as the stone triangle and cross, has led some to believe that the treasure belongs to the secretive society with ties to the Knights Templar and the Holy Grail. It's a tantalizing idea that adds an air of mystery and intrigue to the search for the treasure. In 1849, a determined group from Toronto arrived on Oak Island, eager to continue the quest for the elusive treasure. They had heard of previous discoveries made by the Onslow Company and hoped to make their own breakthrough. However, their efforts were met with disappointment as the pits they excavated flooded with water once again. But amidst their setbacks, they noticed something peculiar. The water was slightly salty and seemed to ebb and flow with the tide. This discovery led them to a narrow channel named Smith's Cove, which was part of an intricate flood system designed to protect the treasure from intruders. It was a clear sign that the treasure hunters were up against more than they had anticipated. Despite their best efforts, the booby-trapped flood system proved insurmountable, and the Toronto team had no choice but to abandon their pursuit and leave Oak Island behind. Some individuals speculate that unknown forces are orchestrating the entire Oak Island mystery as a psychological experiment or social engineering project. However, it is crucial to note that these claims lack substantial evidence to support them and remain purely speculative. Conspiracy theories surrounding psychological experiments and social engineering projects often stem from a combination of imagination, skepticism, and a desire to uncover hidden motives behind perplexing phenomena. While psychological experiments and social engineering efforts have indeed been conducted in various contexts, attributing such intentions to the Oak Island mystery is purely speculative. The mystery of Oak Island has endured for over two centuries, captivating the minds of adventurers and researchers. Numerous expeditions, investigations, and documentaries have followed in the footsteps of the Toronto Company, each hoping to uncover the secrets buried within the island. Modern technology such as metal detectors, sonar, and ground-penetrating radar has been employed, revealing tantalizing clues and anomalies that deepen the mystery. Yet, the treasure remains elusive, defying explanation and frustrating those who seek to unravel its origin. The allure of Oak Island has even attracted the attention of famous and influential individuals throughout history. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, before becoming the President of the United States, was part of the old Gold Salvage Group in 1909 and remained fascinated by the Oak Island mystery for the rest of his life. Hollywood icons Errol Flynn and John Wayne also provided financial support to several expeditions, drawn to the allure of the island's secrets. Even King George VI of England reportedly took an interest in the treasure, instructing treasure hunters to report any discoveries directly to him in the 1930s. Not everyone involved in the search for the treasure, however, has been driven solely by curiosity or greed. Joe Rogan, in his podcast exploring the depths of the Oak Island mystery, suggested a more sinister agenda at play. He proposed that the money pit may be a cleverly designed trap, intended to lure treasure seekers to their demise. Tragic loss of lives and reported hauntings add an eerie layer to the island's history, reinforcing the idea that the treasure is heavily guarded by intricate booby traps and obstacles. Rogan also speculated that the treasure hunters may be underestimating the cleverness of those who buried the treasure. While they devised elaborate defenses to protect their wealth, they may have inadvertently left behind clues and vulnerabilities. He also pointed out the curious aspect of the treasure's perceived value, which has led to multiple changes in ownership throughout history. This suggests a hidden power struggle and adds another layer of intrigue to the Oak Island legend. As the search for the Oak Island treasure continues, the question remains, what lies beneath the surface of the island? Who will be the next to attempt to solve the mystery? And what price will they pay for their curiosity? The legend of Oak Island endures, captivating the hearts and minds of those who dare to uncover its secrets. Here's something you will find fascinating. How is Oak Island represented in pop culture, and how has it enhanced the search? Oak Island's allure extends beyond its mysterious treasure, captivating the entertainment and media industry with its mysterious quest. 
Countless shows and books have delved into the island's secrets, but one program stands out among the rest, The Curse of Oak Island. Airing on the History Channel, this long-running series chronicles the adventures of a tenacious team of explorers as they strive to unravel the island's enigma and secure the fabled treasure. Since its debut in 2014, the show has amassed a devoted following of millions, with the Legina brothers Rick and Marty at its heart. Rick and Marty's fascination with Oak Island began in their youth, ignited by an article in Reader's Digest back in 1965. The article recounted the legend of the treasure and the tireless efforts of past seekers, planting a seed of curiosity in Rick's mind. He dreamed of one day exploring the island and unearthing its hidden riches. With unwavering determination, Rick convinced his successful engineer and businessman brother Marty to join him on this extraordinary quest. In 2006, the Legina brothers acquired a controlling interest in the island, marking the start of their extraordinary journey. Devoting their time, resources, and boundless energy, the Legina brothers spared no expense in their pursuit of the treasure. Armed with cutting-edge technology and state-of-the-art equipment, they embarked on a relentless mission to dig deeper and wider than ever before. Recognizing the complexity of their undertaking, they enlisted the expertise of professionals from diverse fields, including archaeology, geology, history, and engineering. These specialists lent their knowledge and experience to the investigation, bolstering the brothers' efforts. Throughout their odyssey, the Lagina brothers made several remarkable discoveries. Throughout their odyssey, the Lagina brothers made several remarkable discoveries. Coins from ages past, military buttons, fragments of pottery, human bones, each finding added a layer of intrigue to the enigma. Among their most breathtaking finds was a stunning brooch adorned with a magnificent garnet. These astonishing discoveries validated the island's historical significance and fueled the belief that the treasure may indeed be within reach. Yet, despite their impressive accomplishments, the Lagina brothers have yet to lay their hands on the elusive treasure that has eluded them since childhood. As their lifelong quest continues, one can't help but wonder if the treasure is merely a legend, or if it truly exists, waiting to reveal its secrets to those who persevere. Some people believe that environmental organizations are intentionally obstructing treasure hunting efforts on Oak Island, citing concerns about potential ecological damage. However, it is important to approach these claims with skepticism, as there is limited evidence to support such conspiracy theories. Environmental organizations typically prioritize the preservation and protection of natural habitats and historical sites, Given Oak Island's ecological significance and historical value, it falls within the scope of their concerns. These organizations advocate for responsible and sustainable practices when conducting activities that may impact the environment or cultural heritage. While it is true that excavation and drilling can potentially cause environmental disturbances, it is unlikely that environmental organizations would solely aim to obstruct treasure hunting efforts. Instead, their focus would likely be on ensuring that any excavation activities are carried out with proper permits, adherence to environmental regulations, and the preservation of the island's ecological integrity. What discoveries have been made in Oak Island so far? Oak Island, known by some as Hoax Island, has a controversial and mysterious history. Despite numerous alleged discoveries, there is a lack of solid evidence to support any of them. The earliest documented excavations on the island took place in the early 1860s, carried out by local boys and a company called Onslow. However, most of the stories surrounding earlier or later digs are based on hearsay and secondhand accounts from people who claim to have been involved. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Oak Island legend is the supposed discovery of an inscribed stone in the 1800s, buried at a depth of 90 feet. Many believe that this stone holds a clue or message about the treasure, but its authenticity and meaning remain highly questionable. Surprisingly, the stone was not officially reported as found until 1862, and it was not mentioned in the Oak Island Treasure Company's 1893 investment prospectus, which detailed all the known facts and findings about the island. What's more, 
No sketches or photographs of the stone or its markings exist, and the only available image is a drawing from 1949 based on a dubious translation. Another controversial aspect of the Oak Island story is the curse that is said to afflict the island and its treasure seekers. However, Christina Downs, Ph.D., the managing editor for the Journal of Folklore Research at Indiana University, advises treasure hunters to approach these claims with skepticism. She suggests that curses and cryptic ciphers are often fabricated to add credibility and intrigue to unsupported claims. Even popular figures like Joe Rogan have expressed doubts about the existence of the Oak Island treasure. He questions how, after 10 seasons and millions of dollars spent, the Lagina brothers, who own a significant stake in the island and star in a reality TV show about their search, have yet to find anything conclusive. Rogan suggests that the treasure could be nothing more than a myth, a hoax, or an elaborate wild goose chase. Nevertheless, the truth surrounding Oak Island still holds an air of intrigue. Historian Joy A. Steele and retired marine geologist Gordon Fader have conducted research that indicates Oak Island was once a covert British industrial center. Their examination of business records and contemporaneous correspondence led them to conclude that in 1720, the British Crown chartered private companies, along with the British military, to conduct various industries on Oak Island, including pine tar works, brass making and wire drawing, as a means to alleviate debt. Fader states that it was the largest industrial development in Canada at the time, with numerous advantages such as proximity to fresh water, shoreline access, safety, and good anchorage. According to Steele and Fader, the Money Pit, a central focus of the Oak Island mystery, was actually a natural geological feature on the island that the British utilized as a pine tar kiln for producing tar and pitch to coat their ships. The layers of wood, charcoal, and putty found in the excavated layers of the Money Pit align with what would be expected in an old tar kiln. Fader further suggests that the U-shaped structure discovered on Smith's Cove was likely a storage shed for storing the pine tar in barrels and protecting it from the sun. In those times, pine tar held equal importance to oil today, as ships would not set sail without being soaked in pine tar. Furthermore, the geological conditions of the area provide another argument against the theory of a man-made money pit. Fader explains that the island's bedrock is susceptible to dissolution by the sea and water table, resulting in an underground system of fractures and caves known as a karst system, which is prone to collapse and the formation of sinkholes. Fader, who mapped the underground conditions along the Nova Scotia coast during his tenure as a marine geologist for the Canadian government, asserts that sinkholes are common in the region. At least two sinkholes have been identified on Oak Island, and many more occur on the nearby mainland. Geoscientist Stephen Aitken, PhD, with over 25 years of experience studying the Oak Island area, supports this notion, stating that natural evidence indicates the money pit itself is a sinkhole. Aitken concurs with Fader, explaining that the bedrock beneath that side of the island has undergone local dissolution, forming a karst system in which some caves have collapsed, resulting in sinkholes, including the money pit. The search for the Oak Island treasure has been marked by significant investments of both money and effort. Over the years, countless individuals, organizations, and treasure hunting companies have poured substantial financial resources into excavations and exploration on the island. The total amount of money spent on the Oak Island treasure hunt is estimated to be in the millions of dollars, making it one of the most expensive and prolonged treasure hunts in history. Investors and treasure hunters have financed various excavation attempts, employing sophisticated technologies, heavy machinery, and skilled laborers to dig deep into the ground. They have employed divers, geologists, historians, and engineers to aid in their efforts, utilizing state-of-the-art equipment and methods to try and uncover the hidden treasure. The search for the Oak Island treasure has been a long and arduous process, spanning centuries, Countless hours of research, planning, and physical labor have been dedicated to the pursuit. Treasure hunters have faced numerous challenges, including collapsing tunnels, flooding, and booby traps, which have hindered progress and led to tragic accidents. 
Despite the enormous investments of time, money, and effort, the Oak Island treasure remains elusive. The treasure hunters have made intriguing discoveries along the way, such as ancient artifacts and intriguing inscriptions, sparking further speculation and fueling the desire to continue the search. The Oak Island treasure hunt stands as a testament to the enduring human fascination with hidden riches and the relentless pursuit of the unknown. It is a story of determination, adventure, and the insatiable quest for discovery that continues to captivate the imagination of treasure hunters and enthusiasts around the world. Thanks for watching another episode of Beyond Discovery. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now.